Virginia. Hey, how you doing? Uh, can, uh, can I speak English with you? Is it okay? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Hey, I'd like to ask you something. Um, I see you spend a lot of time trying to interpret uh, uh, Sunni books the way you want them interpreted, but okay. you need to tell the Shia people you cannot do that, first of all. Second, why don't you teach the Shia people their own book? Now, go ahead and tell me one example of how I misinterpret a Sunni book. One example is how you always bad mouth uh, Umar Radi Allahu and whom, okay? <laughs> well, if, if it wasn't are, for him, he would have I, the courage to be on TV, okay? That's one. Tell the Shia people how a Jewish person made your religion. Listen, if a I Jewish said anything person, negative, Abdullah Salba made your religion. Listen, um, listen. If I said anything negative about Umar, I also gave the reason. Could you be a little more specific to me and tell me exactly where I said something negative about Umar, I condemned him, I criticized him, that is not justified. Give me an example of what did I say about Umar that was not acceptable to, to you, that was not palatable to you, and you do not agree. Give me an example, and then I will see whether I was wrong or not. But if you do not give me any, any reason, you're just being general, Everywhere, whenever I spoke against Omar, I condemned him, I gave the reason. I showed your own book, every time. And you're nothing, you're nobody. You only speak <laughs> to the Afghan people that's feeble-minded, that don't know better. If you're so strong, if you're so... The most listen. person I've ever seen in my life, okay? It, it's, okay it's easy to make yourself look like something when you're always fighting against uh, people that don't know. If you are so knowledgeable, I pose a question to you. If you are so knowledgeable, if you are so knowledgeable, would you listen a moment? Would you listen a moment? Would you listen a minute? Go beat yourself with your chains and hopefully y'all can get rid of your this... Okay, I'm going to hang up on you. I'm going to hang up on you because you're not listening. You hung up yourself. That's a very good reason of why uh, you're not worthy of conversation and who is uh, ignorant and who is not worthy of having a thoughtful conversation. A person who just talks, who doesn't wait to listen what a question is, and a person who fails to give me an example of why I badmouthed Omar without uh, giving a reason. And you accused me of I misinterpreting uh, Omari books. I asked you, Give me one example, since you're so knowledgeable, since you, since you are so learned. Give me one example. Where did I misinterpret your book? You have so many scholars. You're saying the Shia people are weak-minded and you're so strong in your thoughts. Let's see the strength of your thought. Let's see the excellence of your knowledge. Show me one example where I misinterpreted your book. Everywhere that I've uh, shown your book. I've shown it to the whole world. For instance, I've said this is Musannaf ibn Abi Shayla. This is book, book has been printed in such and such year, in such and such place. And this is the page number, and this is the hadith. And then I've translated it. And I've always asked, if I misinterpret something, I do not translate it accurately, you call me, and you correct me. Your scholars are all, it's not that of Afghanis or in Iran, there are no scholars. There are more scholars in Iran and in Afghanistan than there are in the English-speaking world. And they are more learned. And they are, their knowledge is more profound. And they cannot criticize me. And they know better that everything I say is accurate and correct and from your books. So, inshallah, you go and talk to whoever ta taught you these things, from, from whoever you learned these things, you to go and talk to them and learn better and call me back and show me the examples. Where did I misinterpret? And which condemnation I leveled against Omar that he's not worthy of and he doesn't deserve? I'm waiting for a good reasoning and I'm waiting for a good debater from your side. Alhamdulillah, thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this uh, madhab, this religion is the true religion. This madhab, this uh, religion is very firm and it's very right in all this foundation, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. And you cannot bring a single question, a single criticism that we do not answer and we cannot answer by various means and various ways. On the other side, we have questions and hundreds of questions and thousands of questions that you as scholars cannot answer. The reason for that being that, that everything that you say, that everything you claim about Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, Muawiyah is wrong. They were infidels, they died infidels, and they right now they are burning in fire of hell. 
And this is based on hadith and this is based on verses of Quran. If you have guts, call me and do not hang up and talk to me. 